I'm doing an empties today. Um, it's only the eight, but it's full partly due to bigger um boxes, packages. So I might end with the empties this month, but I'm trying to do them when it gets full. So let's just hop into it. Um, first thing I thought is the uh, Quaker oatmeal, instant oatmeal, and pumpkin spice. I heard about this last year, but couldn't find it. I did find it at Target this year. Um, I liked it a lot more than I expected. It's actually pretty good. Um, I would definitely consider getting it again. I don't know if I would again this year, but I have been eating a lot more oatmeal, so I might. I think Alex liked it okay, but I also think he liked, um, brown sugar oatmeal more. So, just a possible repurchase. It was good. Um, Layla finished this box of Subi Snap. We couldn't find the ones the large dogs went on for, but I love CBD, so I totally eat these four again. Plus, she seemed really like them. Um, I finished the box. Let's see this has. Okay. Finished off box pass. These are the Always Radiant Flex Foam. I really like these. Um, they're really comfortable and stuff. They're the ones I've been getting ever since I first tried them, and I've already repurchased those. Um, that Kirkfried Colorful Creations bag that I told you guys about, it's only a pet I got a big bag of the orange for my guinea pig beta. And a small package of the purple for our rats, Alexandra and Amy. I really like it. It works really well. Um, I don't again I prefer the shredded paper for my parents because it's um free. But this stuff just has the advantage that it's kinda like plumping cat wear, so it doesn't stick to the bottom cage. So once you have a dump out cage, scrape it, wash it, dry it, and then fill it back up. I can just dump out and fill it back up. It's a lot easier. Um, this is that hay from Walmart that did finish its heart spring alfalfa hay. Um, this is a hay for like, if you need to give them something and it's late at night, but they cut it really small so there's a lot of dust rather than just hay, which means that Austin he doesn't get the dust, which I didn't blame him. Um, and he seemed to like this, but when I got him back to the normal stuff, he liked that a lot more and he was a lot happier. So I would only buy this again if it was like, the only thing we could get at the time, or if it was too late for the store or whatever. Um, this... I think I only drank like half of this. This was Tazo Chai Pumpkin Spice Latte. It was like a mix. You just blend it. It's half this and half water or milk or whatever. Um, it was good, but it was more chai and pumpkin for me. And I ended up not drinking all of it. This was from last year. I don't know if they had this this year. Um, but it was still good as long as you didn't open it. Um, so it was okay, but I would get it again. Um, we just finished this at Kids. Um, mouthwash. I don't like mint or cinnamon, so I don't buy the grown up stuff, and I love Scooby so I tend to get this. I really like this. It tastes good. It works well for me. Alex has been sharing it with me. He seems to like it okay, but I think he does like the grown up stuff better. Um, so I might get some of that for him. We just opened a bottle of Colgate Kids, but I do have another bottle of this as a backup, and I would purchase this again. I really like it. Um, the only reason we got Colgate was because we were at Target and they didn't have the act. I have to get that one. Um, I got some more of these card perfume samples from a Sephora catalog they sent out for the sale. Um, there's one more that I haven't tried yet, but the first one was this Dior Jador perfume. It was okay, but it was just a stereotypical perfume scent, so it's not really my thing, so I wouldn't get it. Um, then there was this Yves Saint Laurent Mon Paris. It was okay. Um, it was stereotypical perfume with a hint of stereotypical floral. It wasn't overwhelming. It was okay. I could tolerate it, but it's not my thing, so I wouldn't buy it. And then the one I used today this Mew Mew perfume. Um, this one was also, I, it says all of this, what is it? It's not a fragrance, it's a plot twist, so it, it smells like stereotypical perfume. It's, again, yeah, not my thing, so I would buy it. Um, we finished off with Tease Dry Shampoo Strength and Shine. Um, Alex uses this stuff more than I do because he has short hair and his hair gets greasy really quickly, and especially in winter time, he doesn't have to shower as much as he has to wash his hair. So he'll use this a lot more than I do. I pretty much shower every other day because my hair has to be washed every other day and I don't bother putting trash shampoo in it. I do use it once in a while, but um, it's just something we always keep on. I got this one at TJ Maxx for $5.99. The last time we were at TJ Maxx, we didn't have any. So I got a new bottle at Target recently and it was a tropical, which I'm really liking. Um, and it was $5.99 there too. And it's like $7.99 also. So go for Target if you can't find a TJ Maxx. But yeah, Alex likes this stuff. And I don't think he had opinion on strength and shine um fragrance but he seems to be okay with the tropical um finished a fortune cookie soap from the princess bride line in Norwich. um this kind of reminded me of the most dead one 
mostly so smelly, but with a hint of something else. This one, the hint of something else, like some kind of bakery thing. It was nice. It was really, um, simple. So it wasn't anything you have to put anything else in this set. It was really pretty and did enjoy using that. Um, Layla finished off these canine carry out steak bites trees. She really liked these, so I'd probably get this for her again. Let's see. I used this L'Oreal Paris Fairy of Power Shimmer Conditioner. Glistens and hydrates. This is from my hair dye. Um, before I use get another deep conditioner, I'm trying to use all of the hair dye hotel and just hack the samples of conditioner that I have and just leave it on for a long time once a week. And this one worked really well with that. I've got another two of this that I'm going to be using that I've already opened. So, um, this did work really well. I liked it and I'd be happy to use it again. Um, Alex used, this was his from Seattle. It was Speed Stick Bar Ultimate Sport Deodorant. Um, he said this works well for him, but it's more of a wintertime deodorant because a lot of times he really needs to be sports drink. Um, he does have another one of these. I don't know if he would repurchase it. I think so. But he has a second one also from Gales who's working that now. Um, he didn't feel like doing empties with me tonight, so that's why he's not here. Uh, we finished off another, well this one's actually an Advil PM. Um, I got these because they were the one I did on for. They're nice, they're one of the two products that I ever met that actually will muck me out. Um, I prefer to get normal Advil because these, I never know if it's not going to work, kind of going to work, or if it's going to knock me out flat on my butt for 12 hours. So, like if I have sold the next morning or something, I can't take these. So I prefer to have regular Advil around. Um, if I have a coupon for these, I'll get these, but otherwise I probably won't go out and get the specific ones just for the little ones. Um, I've got some sheet masks. I've got, um, the last one of my Yes 2 ones. This is the Yes Coconut Hydrate and Restore. I would say it was hydrating. This one didn't burn my face all over, but it did, like, sting, like, right under here. So I wouldn't get this again. I will say that when I opened it, it smelled like coconuts. It smelled really good. And I've got, I've been trying all four of these Miss Spa brand ones. I got these at Target too. Um, let's see. The first one I did was the Detox Pore Clear Skin. At this one, it was a black one. Um, this was nice. Like I've said before, my skin is pretty decent, so I don't know if it did anything besides typical sheet mask stuff, but it was nice. Probably wouldn't get it again just because my skin doesn't really need that. I just like trying them out, honestly. Um, the second one I think I tried was the Exfoliate one for smooth skin. Now, this one did definitely work. After I took it off and my skin dried, I told my skin was smoother, and the next morning, definitely my skin was super smooth. So I would definitely buy this again and definitely say it works. Um, I don't know which one of these I use next. I think the next one was the Hydrate. Um, no, the next one was Brighten. Make your face glowy. Um, I think this one worked, but again, my skin is not really that dull in the first place. So it's not something you need to get a brightening one for. And the Hydrate is, I would say all sheet masks are hydrating. This one's definitely super, super hydrating. So if you need something like that, or I think this would also get if you have sunburn. I really like this one. If I needed something like this, I would get it. Okay. I have one bath bomb. This is a Balm Bath Fizzeries brand F Balm bath bomb. It's called Life Lavender. I put a view of this actually up on my channel. Um, like a bath bomb demo type video. This was really nice. It smelled good. It gave a nice bath. I got it hot topic. Um, I liked it. I would like to get some more of that brand. I think I'm on the quince hot topic now. Um, oh, I have a bottle of regular ibuprofen. I just made these when I was at mom and dad. I think I only left them. Sorry, mom. Like, you know by now we always keep ibuprofen around. I have the Cinema Secret Makeup Brush Cleaner. Um, this was fine. It's just not something I need. This good for quick, quick cleaning your brushes. The way I used most of it when I was working a show and the actors let it slip. They had cleaned their brush since last, since before the last time they were in a show, which was already very good for some of them. So I took this up there and cleaned all of the brushes for them and they were so disgusting. But that's how I used most of it. But this is just not something I need because... I don't really quit clean my brushes, I just clean once a week, and I don't know why everybody makes such a fuss about it because it's not that big a deal. So I personally don't need a product like this, if you do it, I understand how it's great, I just don't. So I wouldn't buy it again. Also, if you're supposed to pour it into a thing and dip the brush in and pull it out really fast, why is there a sprayer on it? Just why? Uh, I've got a yummy yummy shower cream from Lush, this is from Mother's Day, I did rather like this. Um, mostly because it was purple. It smelled nice, but it wasn't my favorite. I think Alex liked it a lot more than I did. I don't know if we repurchased it. I would have to ask him. But I think both of us favorite, at least of what we've tried, is the Lord of Misrules. That one that we get. 
um, I've got this Terry Mueller Angel News Perfume. I saw this at Ulta, smelled it, loved it, and wanted to sample it support to make sure it was in chemistry, and it does. I love it. Alex loves it. It's freakishly expensive, but I do want to get a full size of this. It's awesome. Um, then I've just got some wax melts. This is a Sonoma Lifestyle Pumpkin Harvest. I got this at Kohl's last year. It was nice. It didn't smell like pumpkin. It just smelled apple-y. It was nice though. I liked it, but I don't think I would get it again because they're a little expensive and I have other apple ones I like better. This was the Sensational Black Raspberry Vanilla. Alex and I both really like this. This is a very, very potent one though, so I can't use it upstairs. I have to use it downstairs, but it will smell up the entire downstairs. It smells really, really good and um, not only would I repurse this again, but Alex has asked me to get another one of these so you get those at Walmart. I've got two Yankee Candle ones. Um, these are little tart wax tarts. The one thing about these is that I've heard so many people say, oh yeah, you can pick them in half or pick them in quarters and use them more. Every time I try to do that, they just break into these little pellets and then it's this big mess. Um, but anyway, these are two Halloween ones. This was for Bidden Apple. This is a really good green apple scent. Would definitely get that again. And this is Witch's Brew, which is like a chewy kind of thing. It's really, really freaking good. And Alex loves this. He's had two bows in it, and I definitely need to get some more stuff in there. So, I would definitely repurchase both of the scents. For Bitten Apple, I'd probably only get in the cart. But Witch's Brew, I actually want to take my candle and still got some other. That's all of my empties for this time. Um, I will see you guys next time. Bye!